My grandfather was a pilot for Chiang Kai-shek, the Chinese revolutionary who fought against the Maoist takeover of China. But my grandfather was faced with a moral dilemma. He was ordered to drop bombs on his own people, something he couldn't bring himself to do sometimes, I guess. So he would fly to another area and drop bombs where there was no one around. He simply could not bring himself to um, harm his own people, even if it meant disobeying orders. So it's no wonder. You know, I've always admired him. I believe my grandfather was an empath. And especially when I think about my grandmother, uh, who was definitely a narcissist, very dominant and self-centered. And I think my father is also more on the narcissistic spectrum than on an empath. Uh, A telltale sign is I've never heard my dad apologize for anything. Actually, maybe 90% of the time he doesn't. And he's always blamed everyone for things that have gone wrong. You know, he's always right. He needs to be number one. He's apologized more when he's gotten older, which is interesting. Humbling for him, I guess. Anyway, I find myself more like my grandfather. And it would make sense that an empath is with a narcissistic partner like my grandma. And what my nar- grandma, you know, she lived longer than my grandfather. Was it because she was more selfish? What if my f- grandfather was just drained trying to please her or everyone else? You know, there's definitely something that my grandmother held against my grandfather. I think it had to do with well, money. Or lack thereof. No money, no honey, as people say. Um, so then, you look at me. Am I selfish for, you know, wanting to, for like squandering my life away? My last ex took everything I had. I mean, I said, and, and said I had more to give, and she called me a stingy Chinese, and while her ex continued to support her. And she even tried to get him to get me hurt. But that backfired because I showed her a video of her.